SD until my lungs are broken, bro. Hey, what is up, you guys? Wanted to show you how to pimp out your Steam profile today. So this is a really simple tutorial. Now, first off, what you need to understand is whenever you create your Steam profile, you can change your username, you can change the image and everything like that. But one thing I will say that you really want to actually try to understand is if you do your custom info box, make sure you put in information that is useful to you and other people viewing your profile. Also understand the formatting helps. So as you can see, we've got header text, bold text, underline text, italics, uh, strike through, and then spoiler text, and doesn't parse, and then website link. So all those are really easy to do. Uh, sometimes if you're using the right URL, it will automatically put it in as a URL. And as you can see with mine, I've got mine to where I've got uh, header text, header text, I've got different uh, emojis and everything like that. And I do have my custom PC information. Now, for the artwork showcase, if you want to do something like that, you have to go to steam.design, which is fairly simple to do. And also, what you can do is, let me show you. So, if I go to steam.design, it should show you that the wallpaper is already there, if you've already imported a wallpaper. Uh, but as you can see, there's a few different images right there, where you can toggle long images, and you can actually resize these like I've done with mine. And you can take these and put them into Photoshop and edit it and put your own photo in there and everything like that uh, just to make it a little bit more unique to your profile. It's really simple and easy to do such as that and then you just download the zip and you go to uh, the Steam website and you put in the images into your artwork. So yeah, that's super easy to do. You can also, uh, it would help if you're level 20 because you can have more than one showcase and as you see there is a pretty good amount of showcases you can do uh, it all depends on what your personal preferences are the custom info box is really cool because you can basically edit it and put anything that you want inside there and also I will say try to pick a unique username don't put something like Kyle s or something simple like your name uh, because somebody might have the same exact name as you come up with something that's really unique uh, HYX is me I am HYX and then I've also got my other profile HYX host which does have a vac ban which is the reason why I don't use that profile and it's also a lower level and has less games than this profile now so that's kind of a reason why and also if you do want to change up what your uh, feature badge is all you have to do is come down here and you can go through and pick whichever one you like the most. Now for me, I've got Community Leader, Global Sentinel, and I've got uh, Collection Agent and stuff like that. A few different cool badges. And all that depends on whatever you like. Now for Community Leader, it's a really easy badge to get. All you have to do is complete all the Steam Community tasks. And i done that in probably a day or two. So yeah guys, if you do want to create a really cool Steam profile, I hope this did help with you. And I also do have a guide that I have favorited on Steam on how to do just this. And there is also a few other videos on YouTube. So yeah, go check those out. Try to make your Steam profile as awesome as you possibly can. Hope you guys have a great day and a great night. Peace.